Hey guys, it's Anna. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of um, show prep. Uh, I have been trying to figure out what to do with this massive cymbidium. It is a beautiful beast. It has about nine spikes right now. Let me see if I can... Okay, so those guys are spikes, most of them. Anyways, so... I won't sit. I'll sit. Anyways. Um, one of the things that I have to do for a show is just clean everything up. Um, but one of the things you have to worry about are the buds. So I usually have to peel off some of the sheathing for the buds. It's not human enough here for them to break through on their own. And I kind of just help them along. Let me show you. Hopefully you can see. This is the little spike that I'm working with. So just take off some of that. That's what I've had to do for most of them. Um, so yeah, then you just trim off and take away any old sheathing that needs to be taken off. It'll be okay. Uh, anything that's green, leave on. Anything that doesn't want to come off, just leave it there. I got another month until the show, so hopefully this guy will be okay. But what I really wanted to share with you guys was um, how to stake it. So I have, let's see if I can find a bald spot in here. So, in here I have a stake. So if you can see, I have right here a stake that I've driven through the roots and all the craziness. And that's what I'm going to be tying everything to. Let's see, there you go. So, for ease of convenience for you guys, I will be using a green string that's a ribbon that my cats love. No, they don't want to see me right now. So, that's fine. Okay. Let me find something I want to stake. I want to stake this guy. So, this right here is a spike. You want to find this the bud that's the last bud and probably make like a little noose around it. <laughs> For sure. A little flippy floppy. Um, here actually, really quick, what I want to show you. So, you're going to form a loop. Single loop. And then you just make, with that loop, a small loop at the base and that will form a noose and you can move it you can constrict it and then you can also move it back out so put this around oh leaves so put that around the base and constrict it not too tight, and then we'll bring it back in. And we can tie it there. And this is just a um, guiding mechanism right now. I can loop it around this loop a couple times and it can tame it a little bit more. But that's just an idea for you guys. Um, I'll be doing this and I don't want to do the whole thing with you because it seems a little unnecessary, let's just say. But also what you have to look out for for shows and everything is um, wonky leaves, wonky leaves, like yellowing leaves. So just cut those off. 
no harm really comes to the plant. Especially with some videos. Uh, this is another one. This my guy is starting to face down. Uh, part of the thing that I have been doing is mushing up everything like this and placing it against the wall that I have. I am lucky enough to have a attached garage and the garage has a window slash door that it is attached to. Um, and I just muss up the leaves and everything like that and place it against the wall and everything gets light from the other side and they all want to go to the light. So hopefully that was okay. I don't know what else to say about this massive plant. It is my big baby. Oh goodness. I love it so much. So hopefully I'll get this all staked up. Hopefully it will be a good good show winner. It has some spikes still to yet to come. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you like this and uh, give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. I love you all so much family. Uh, have a great day. Bye.